JLR investigates major fire today in Cypress, Texas, just outside Houston, Texas. And three people were found inside a burning home. And it is believed that these three people were murdered and then the house set on fire. Of the three people, one was a mother and her son. What in the world is going on here in Cypress, Texas? Authorities give a press conference and I'm going to share the press conference with all of you. Check it out. I'm Saul Suarez. I'm a major with the Harris County Sheriff's Office. I oversee our Criminal Investigations Bureau. Joining me this morning is Lieutenant Cruz with the Cy Fair Fire Department, Chief Weston with the Harris County Fire Marshal's Office, Captain Wagner with the Harris County Sheriff's Office, and Captain McConnell with the Harris County Sheriff's Office. Earlier today, the Cy Fair Fire Department, around 7 in the morning, responded to a fire. Upon their arrival, they determined that the fire was, was going to be related to a darson. They discovered three bodies that showed no signs of life. The three bodies were two adult females and one adult male. At that point, they contacted the, the Harris County Precinct 4 Constables Department, who responded to the scene and then contacted the Harris County Sheriff's Office for further investigation. Upon our arrival, our homicide team determined also that the bodies had signs of foul play and also had trauma. At that point, this became uh, a parallel investigation in conjunction with the Harris County Fire Marshal's Office and the Harris County Homicide Division. I just want to advise the community, just want to thank you all for your patience because we are processing the scene. These scenes will take uh, about two to three hours while we determine and we gather all evidence. Uh, to, in order to do so, do so, we have our Harris County Crime Scene Unit, our Homicide Unit, Harris County uh, Fire Marshal's Office is out, out here also. And then we also have elements from the Harris County Precinct 4 Constable's Office and the Harris County Sheriff's Office patrol units that are helping secure the traffic. I also want to remind the community that this types of investigations will take uh, quite a bit of time to determine uh, possible leads. However, we will uh, provide those as we get them. And at this point, that's all I'm able to, uh, to relay uh, to the community. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Do we know what the relationship of those uh, three victims were? Were they related? And did they all live in the house where the fire happened? Yes. So we, we, at this point, we are able to release that the three uh, victims did reside at the resident. And we are able to release that uh, one, of the, the, one of the females is the mother of one of the males. And at, we can determine uh, at this point if the male and the other female had a relationship. But at this point, we can determine that it was a mother and son that were inside the home and they lived, they lived there. Are you able to give us a call and the ages for the victims? At this point, I'm not able to. We, I just know that they're all adults. Um, are there any suspects that have been identified or any questions that you have? Not at this moment. We are exploring our leads. Our homicide team does uh, canvas the area, and that's what they're doing right now. Through, through in the course of the investigation, they are going to be canvassing the area. Uh, looking at video, uh, knocking on doors, and also following up leads, interviewing witnesses to determine and identify a possible suspect. At that point, we'll be able to provide that immediately to the community for your assistance. It may be too early to determine this, but do we know if three victims died as a result of the fire or they were dead before the fire started? Yeah, we can determine that at this point. It's still preliminary. However, that's why we're conjuncting a, conducting a joint investigation. So we'll be able to release that at a future date. You had mentioned that they show signs that they had trauma. Uh, can you elaborate on that? Trauma? Not, not at this point. Uh, all, I, all I could release right now at this moment is that we do have show signs of trauma on all three victims. So that's why we have our homicide uh, unit conducting a parallel investigation, not only for the, for the homicide side, but then with the Harris County Fire Marshals for the arson side. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Most of the home has uh, suffered uh, fire damage. Uh, I do want to remind the community that uh, our public servants were able to, to uh, provide immediate uh, assistance, contain the situation, and at this point there is no more threats to public safety for any other neighbors or anybody around.
Yes, sir. I'm not able to confirm that at this moment. However, we will be able to provide a future statement and be able to confirm because uh, we do have trauma. We'll be able to confirm what type of trauma that was that occurred. Any other questions? I did see a, a hazmat tr uh, truck come through. Was, was there any kind of concern that they needed to be here for something like that? Just yeah. Rehab? Yes, sir. You want to? We uh, re requested some support from our hazmat team just to provide some relief, some shade, uh, just food and water and drinks for all the people that are out here working today. Any other questions? Okay, I'll go ahead and transition over to Spanish. Uh, buenos dias, soy uh, Mayor Saúl Suárez. Uh, yo trabajo con el, en la oficina del, de la, del Alguacil, del condado de Harris. Aproximadamente a las 7 de la mañana hoy, uh, el departamento de bomberos del Cypher uh, respondió a una llamada que había un, una, 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 una casa que estaba encendida en lumbre. Ellos cuando respondieron, determinaron que había tres víctimas y estas tres víctimas tenían trauma, trauma, podía ser un homicidio. Entonces ellos le llamaron a los, en esta área es la área de, de los uh, constables que trabajan para el, el precinto 4. Ellos uh, respondieron y también determinaron que había uh, trauma en los, en, los, en los cuerpos. Eran tres cuerpos, uh, dos uh, mujeres adultas y un hombre adulto. En ese entonces ellos nos llamaron a nosotros uh, porque nosotros investigamos los homicidios. Entonces la unidad de homicidio respondió, también nuestra unidad de escena de crimen. Y ellos em empezaron a procesar su evidencia. En este momento también el jefe de bomberos del uh, condado de Harris respondió porque ellos, ellos investigan los incendios que son provocados. Entonces en este incidente determinamos que este incendio fue provocado. Entonces ellos están aquí y también nosotros y estamos todos investigando Uh, el, pos el posible homicidio y también el incendio provocado que pasó aquí en esta escena. Quiero recordar a la comunidad que ahorita no hay más riesgo de la seguridad pública. Todo está contenido. La casa sí sufrió uh, daños uh, graves por el incendio, pero nosotros respondemos a uh, todos como un equipo y pudimos uh, contener la situación y ahorita no, no va a haber más riesgo a la seguridad pública. También le pido por su paciencia porque vamos a estar aquí dos o tres horas más mientras procesamos el, el la escena y tenemos aquí unidades que están bloqueando las calles ah, y como les digo es por su, su, por su bien y también para poder que los investigadores procesen la escena y también agarren su, su, sus videos y sus entrevistas de los, de los testigos para poder encontrar ese sospechoso que determinamos que puede estar asociado con este incidente. Después de que encontremos esa información nosotros se la, se la, se la damos a otro, en otro día para, para recordar a esa comunidad y también enseñarles la, eh, un dato de la, de la investigación uh, como, va, como la tenemos. Muchas gracias. Questions? Yes, sir. I'm going to refer to Chief Weston and uh, he'll be able to answer that. Right now we're still waiting to make preliminary entry. We can, we can see fire damage through all of the openings that we can see from the exterior of the home, but we have not had an opportunity to determine the origin of the fire yet. Mitchell, M-I-T-C-H-E-L-L. -L. Wow. Looks like, folks, we got three people that were murdered. Then whoever did this, the individual or individuals, then set the home on fire to get rid of the evidence. Wild stuff. We're living in a very scary world these days with the violent activity continuing to rise um is this gang related is this have to do with anyone that crossed over the border illegally drug deal gone bad uh insurance fraud revenge murder suicide <sighs> i'm going to be looking into this case and as soon as i get the identities of the three people that died uh, I will share with all of you on JLR Investigates. Stay vigilant, my friends. When more information comes out, we will post soon. I am JLR Investigates. Stay tuned.